Hey guys, it's me, XMizzerG, Zach, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother. Last time you saw that we got in here to Magicant. Don't know how, apparently we checked a seashell. Sorry, I think... Did I say she shell or seashell? I don't know. I always have trouble pronouncing that because... Ugh, my tongue. Anyways... Last time you, if you've seen last episode, I hope you've seen the last episode because this is like episode what seven. Anyways, I got my head and did some shopping. Um, what I did instead is that I got my head and just bought the protect coin because, well, that's a pretty decent coin. But I did not buy anything else. I did put a few items in the inventory that I didn't really need. Uh, sucks that all of these are key items. Don't worry, we'll get an extended inventory later. Anyways, once you get the Protect coin, I recommend not to equip it because you're gonna get a party member pretty soon and that party member is going to be weak unless you have Mezzicant items. So anyways, in this part, as you can see, remember that guy who said you cannot part with somebody you have never met? Well. Let's meet that certain somebody, who I assume is at the castle. Oh, I should also tell you about a few enemies here. You'll find some enemies called the Rush. Basically, a it's your basic enemy in Magicant. And you've already seen the Wudo and the Oak. But when you see a Rush, basically your basic enemy, you'll also see a Rush Rush. Which is the... Which is called Four Eyes and Earthbound Zero. Um, but it's still a basic enemy, just an upgraded version of the Wush. You'll also see... Some... Mama Eyes. Which is annoying because they can attack twice. You'll also see the Papa Eyes, which... The... That can increase his attack power, so if you run into him, you gotta take him out pretty quick before he increases his attack power. But there's one particular enemy called the Groucho. I forgot what it's called in the Japanese version, but I'm pretty sure I could re be reminded if I see it again. It looks like two eyes with a mustache underneath. When you run into it, my recommendation is not to attack it. The reason being is because there's a move in which it just says hello and walks away. By doing that, it runs away from the battle, but it actually gives, still gives you experience. In fact, more experience than if you just go right ahead and defeat it. So, if you run into a Groucho, go right ahead and defend until he runs away. Uh, take a look at these soldiers. They Kinda of look like they're holding flutes, but I don't really understand. Are they flutes, or is it just a zipper? I don't know. Let's talk to them. You look so precious. Well, I'll let you through if you can solve my little riddle. Well, you didn't give me a riddle, so I'm gonna have to use telepathy. That's right. The answer is two alligators. I haven't thought up of the question, though. <laughs> That, that's actually pretty lame. Oh, get out of the way there. And welcome to Queen Mary's Castle, which is apparently the Emerald City. Now this is one of my other songs. Here's another song that has appeared in the Mother Vocal. It's called Wisdom of the World. And a pretty nice tune. There's nothing in this door right here, so just skip it and go into this door. Now you can go right up here to talk to the queen, but instead I want to check out this room just to see a few things. You know, you find three doors, there's a few items right here, like a antidote, and... I think there's an antidote and a rope, I forgot what the second item is, but i do not going to get it. You can go through here, I... You can go right in here, and there's few presents here. This one is empty, by the way. There's a few items here. Um, right here you can go ahead and get the bullhorn. 
I never used it. I even forgot what exactly it does, but I never used it, so I'm gonna skip out. Now here's an interesting room. There's three, there's six presents. However, if you open one of them, the other three will disappear. If you want to know what they are, this is a very tofu. Well, of the unique items, here's a very tofu. I believe this one is a ruler. I forgot what this one is. I think it's a rope. You also get a fight capsule here, an antidote. I do. The fight capsule may seem tempting, but I'm not gonna get it because it fight isn't really that helpful until you level up. And well, chances are you're gonna get it when you level increase when you level up. Anyways, what you want to do is go to this present, found boomerang, and the other does open up, and now you can't get those items. Now the boomerang it increases your attack by the by a lot. But, again, because we're getting a party member soon, I'm not gonna equip it right away. And who is scared? This is not a toy. Anyone can use this weapon. Of course it's a toy. Well, it is a weapon in, um, in Australia, but we're not in Australia. We're in frickin' Emerald City. The Land of Oz. The Queen isn't feeling very well right now. I wonder why. He's another guy right here. We all know that you're not from here, but we consider you one of us just the same. With the Onyx Hook, you can come back here anytime. Don't hesitate to come visit us whenever, again whenever you're having a hard time. Everyone here loves you. Yeah, there's an item called the Onyx Hook. I'm going to point it out when you can get it. Anyways, let's talk to the Queen. Welcome, Ninten. Here in the land of Magicant, everyone is your friend, and you can have as much as you like or whatever you want. As long as you got enough rupees. Ah, uh, that was a terrible reference. Oh, you want to hear my song? Yeah, there's some other soldiers back there in the first room who would talk about Queen Mary would go to sleep, she will have a bunch of nightmares, and when she wakes up, she'll start singing, but only up for a short time. I'm sorry, I just don't know why, but I can't seem to remember it. I'm sure I'll be able to remember it someday. If I can just sing it again, something will happen. I just know it. So, let's assume that the melodies that we've been collecting, we have three out of the eight so far. Well, let's just assume that those are the melodies that she wants. So something will happen if we give her these melodies. Hmm, pretty darn interesting if you ask me. Pretty darn interesting. So actually, let's talk to the other guys that look like clowns. Here the guys. I wish I could hear the Queen's song again. Here's the guy who talks about the nightmares. Queen Mary often has nightmares. She talks like she's punishing a naughty child. Hmm. The heir to the throne, I assume? And then cries out about being afraid. But she starts to sing a song, but only a short bit of it. The fact she can't remember it seems to bring her pain. Aww. Then she wakes up covered in sweat. Ugh. Something really sad must have happened to Queen Mary a long time ago. Hmm. And yeah, there's nothing here, like I told you earlier. So, apparently something happened to Queen Mary a long time ago. Queen Mary. That name just seems a bit familiar for some reason. Hey, let me out. Take care. Ah, uh, yay, now they can move out of the way. Of course, you're gonna have to answer their riddle every time you want to go back. Ooh, look! Red weed. You can take that to the magic fountain and turn it into a secret herb. But since we already got the bag of magic herbs, well, we don't really need it now. Now, there's something else that I want to show you before I... 
I did not mean to pick that up. Here, I'm gonna... No, I want to go here. Sorry, I don't know how to... One of these controls, uh, drop. Throw away the red weed, there we go. Sorry, I keep confusing my run button with the check button. Now, if I was playing the NES version, that would be nice because... There would be only two buttons. Now, there's something I want to show off. It should be north of the castle and... Oh yeah, one more enemy. It's called the Ray Yedidet. The Ray, which is teddy bear spelled backwards, yeah. It's a pretty tough enemy. I do not recommend fighting it unless you're at level 15. And if it's at the side like that, I recommend not fighting it at all. Reason being is that it can call upon a sky yada I did. Oh! I did not use defense down. I wanted to use dimensional roar. Oh, stupid me. I'm, if I just press down one more, there you go. The sky yada The sky yada will kill you. Oh, I learned a new PSI move in battle. Let's check that. That is. Healing beta basically heals much more th things such as poison and paralysis. I'm thinking of in the earthbound terms, aren't I? Anyways, this is a very interesting house. Just right out here in the open. Well, let's see what's inside. It's a bunch of bird people! Yay! Uh, you don't even know what they're doing. These are called the Flying Men. Now, if you actually ordered the Mother 2 vocal soundtrack, you would actually know that these guys have a theme song. How come their theme song isn't playing? Well, that's because the Flying Man theme song was produced after the game was ready for marketing, so it was never able to... So, Kiyuchi Suzuki wasn't able to put in that one bit of music in this game. But the music is present in the sequel of this game, Earthbound. Anyways, let's talk to one of these Flying Men. Uh, if I can. I am Flying Man. I will be your strength. That is why I was born. Now, the Flying Man is basically a little story tale, fairy tale that Nintendo heard of when he was a little kid. Basically, the Flying Men are martyrs. They, their purpose in life is to help you defeat enemies. It's simple as that. Oh look, here's the wish wish that I've been telling you about. Now let's see how good the fly man can take. Also the fly man is killable so and it also disappears once you leave Magic Cat. So the so you do not want to waste it, especially since you only get six of them in this entire game. Oh jeez, it's a way the other day. Let's see, um, it's probably going to... Yeah, it's probably going to call it before I can land a hit anyway, so I'm going to avoid that. Anyway, since we talked to Queen Mary, how do we get out of this? Well, this bridge will appear and... Take a look, it's that hole that he's been telling us about, but we cannot go in it. The thing is... Go a bit south and... Whoa! Whoa, way too many holes that we can't do anything about. So, well, actually, we can. This is actually the way out of Magic Kent. But I'm not going to do that in this part. There's still a few things that I want to show off here in Magic Kent that is actually all the way to the other side. Ah, uh, here's the Magic Snails. I I can go ahead and take him out, but since I'm in a rush, I'm gonna go right ahead and run away. And get into another battle with an enemy that explodes once you defeat it. Didn't work out. Flying Man, don't attack it. If the Flying Man destroys it, it's going to be scary. Luckily, I ran away. Uh, there's Queen Mary's Castle. What I want to do is way all the way to the other side. I can take out a Red Yedda Dead all alone like this. 
There we go. C is not too hard if you're level 15, but it's gonna call for the Rabia Death. Here's the Papa Eyes. Again, it raises your attack, so... Well, not your attack. It would be awesome if it can raise Nintendo's attack. But it doesn't. Uh, there's a bridge, but I don't want to go there. I want to go south into this forest. Now there's a few interesting characters right here, like... Well, there's a house, like this cat that swims on the ground. I'm a cat that swims on the ground. That's physically impossible, but... For all we know, Nintendo's hide right now. Can you guess what I'm holding in my paw? Well, he's holding an item, but I'm not gonna take that item until much later. Here's the um, man that lives alone that everybody has an interest of. Oh, hello. I was just in the middle of pondering philosophical questions. It's hard for me to focus with all this guitar music, though. Then why are you playing it? Well, I don't hear any guitar music in the background, but... Oh, whoops, I didn't realize I was the one playing the guitar. How careless of me. <sighs> really? This is a secret, just you you and me. Come back here when you're stronger. You should probably make a note of this now, so you don't forget later. Yeah, he... Had, you can talk to him later in this game, and he actually one of the interesting characters of this game. He's actually one of my favorites. Woo! Uh, somebody's moving downstairs. I hope that not coming up in the recording, but it probably is, knowing how... That is strange. People say that the microphone for your computer isn't really that good, and my microphone picks up everything. Just about everything. Are you... Oh yeah, you're not the hotel person. The hotel person is up north farther. It's funny how you can go into practically anyone's house. Wrong place. Freaking trying to find the hotel. Which I don't understand. Have you met? Uh, yes, I agree with him. Thank you. Uh, you, are you the... And, uh, make... Take it that you want a cool nickname too? Sure, okay, I got it. From now on, your name will be Stupid Face Nintendo. It just oozes class. <laughs> Jerk. Apparently, he does give nicknames. Where the frick is the hotel? Is it this? Oh, whatever. I know that there's two hotels here, but I can... Oh, two places that you can rest. Which, I do not see the point in resting at that one place where you can bend the spoon. And there's a hotel right here, anyways. Ah, the flying man is very helpful. You probably want to go ahead and grind off all enemies using the flying man, although he's Probably gonna get in the way if you find a Groucho. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, there's really nothing else left to do in Magic End. Let's, uh, go to that. Well, exit. Oh, right, but yeah, they're dead. Right on this side. Chances are you're not gonna defeat it if it's off to the side like that. If it's in the middle and you're at this high of a level, yeah, chances are you're gonna take it out in two hits. Like so. There we go, that was a bit tougher than usual. Again, most of the attack power is random. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna end off this video. Sorry, it's... Sorry that we didn't do a whole lot. I didn't even take a step there. All I did was tap the down button and I didn't even move. Anyways, once I get out of this battle, there we go. I guess I'm gonna see you guys next time when we find the exit to this strange, weird place. Alright, I'll see you guys then.
Oh my gosh, everything is pink. The water green looks like the sky, and there's a bird following me like a creep. Don't worry, we'll get out of this place soon. Hey guys, it's me, X Mr. Cheese X, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Mother. Last time we got my head and talked to Queen Mary to learn about, well, more plot development. In this episode, we're gonna finally leave Magic Ant. Now, there's a well right here. But if we go south, as you saw, there's a bunch more wells. So which one do we have to take? I believe it's this one. Now, this area is a bit of a maze. They simplify it in the... in Earthbound Zero, but I only played Earthbound Zero, so I have no idea about this maze. I believe the pattern, first pattern is left, left, right, right. I hope so. Oh, there's a pleasant there, though. Found the magic herb. Uh, ah, I see that it says Nintendo's party since Nintendo is not alone. Let's drop this magic herb since we don't need it. Uh, this way? Yeah, I know, I got the pattern wrong. So it must be the opposite way now. Is this the. Yeah. So let's try this, right? No, left, left. Enemies. Oh look, we got the entire family. Let's actually go ahead and try to attack it. We're gonna try to take out the... Oh, it's not the mama, mom's eye at the swooshette. Anyways, you want to take out the papa swoosh first. There we go. Did the swish actually just got them? Anyways, now you want to take out the swish ad because swish ad can attack twice. There we go. I think this area is a bit different than the other version. Let's try. I'm pretty sure it was. I'm lost already, guys. Oh, look. Oh, it's not the called the Groucho, it's called the Bonus Wish. Okay, I'll guard then. And not kill it. Just please don't kill it, I want the experience, please. You're about to kill it, aren't you? Yep. See, it only gives you three experience afterward. I love the Wish Wish, called the Four Eyes and the Earthbound Zero. And Flyman fell and collapsed, so Nintendo is on his own there. See, the Flyman are powerful enough, but they do not have a whole lot of HP. She's I'm lost already. Okay. Let's try this one. Right. Right. Oh, jeez, I'm lost already. Oh my gosh. Oh, at least the Flyman can't. Kill this one. Come on, give me the experience. Just say hello and walk away. Greeted everyone politely and left. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna leave this place and try again. Now, was it right, right, left, left? Let's try right, right, left, left. Bonus wish. These battles don't even take that long. Left, left. Yes, now I'm doing going the right way. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut out these battles from now on. Dude, I, I swear I'm going the right way. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go right back to the exit and I'll show you guys the right way. Alright, here's the right way. You want to go left, right, right. Okay, left, right, right, then left. I knew it was a pattern similar to that. There we go. There we finally go. Alright, now they can finally continue in this area. It's a bit of a maze. Freaking 
Groucho's. I'll take a look, we finally leveled up. I highly recommend being at least 17 when you get out. Or around 17 when you finally get out of Magicant. Well, this is called the Crystal Caverns, but either way. It's a bit of a maze. Here's an item right here. I do not recommend getting out any of these items. One of the items is called the sword. Yet the sword, the sword is a good weapon, but it does not come into use until much, much later. All right. Anyways, you want to go down. I'm sorry, the maze is a bit different in this version. Ah, here's a present. I believe that's the one that contains the sword. Oh wait. Never mind then, apparently what they did was that the... I know that it was different in the Famicom version, but apparently it didn't change in the Game Boy Advance version that I'm playing right now. Apparently they, when they saw the maze in the Earthbound Zero version, they decided to change it back. Anyways, you see that back here is a dragon. I know, Dragons and Earthbound? I thought this was supposed to be a modern day RPG. Well, this dragon actually has some importance, some significance to it. If it wasn't obvious enough, you know what's also obvious is that me not being able to run away. Now, if you're at level 20, you can go ahead and check this dragon and it will actually give you a melody. However, it is, it becomes a boss later on, and it's actually pretty tough boss, which I do not recommend taking it on. If you check it, it actually says, before level 20 is... <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. If you're not level 25, it says it's short from waking the dragon up. Now I gotta cut out this fight. Alright, these fights gets very annoying. Just very quickly. Really? Sheesh, my HP is getting very low, which... I mean, take a look, already at 19, so gotta spam these life up. You do get life up beta later on, which, record, which recovers even more HP, but I tell you, these wish wish, they are annoying. I didn't... You know what? I think it's time to use that big bag. Oh, thanks for that little information. Big bag. Use. There we go. There we freaking go. Oh, take a look. Here's a new enemy, the Alrek. The Alrek is... Well... It's been a while since I played this game, so I hardly know about the Alric. All I remember is that it can use PK moves. Uh, if I were playing Earthbound, it probably would deflect that thunder attack. But it does not. It can only reflect beam. Now, right here is where you can get the Onyx Hook. The Onyx Hooks allows you to visit Magicant whenever you want. You do not have to shirt for a pink shell anymore. However, it also has a very tough boss battle, unless you know how to defeat it. If you know how to defeat it, this boss is actually amongst the easiest. If you want to go ahead and t get the Onyx Hook, what you need to do is use defense down on it, well, use defense up on yourself, then you use defense down on it, and then it would only do one damage to you, and you can just take it out in just a few moves. However, I do not want the Onyx Hook just yet. For the majority of this game, that's right. I'm gonna take on, use the Onyx Hook later in this game. I highly, highly recommend getting the Onyx Hook right now, but for the moment being, I'm gonna try to go as far into this game as I can without using the Onyx Hook. Because I think the Onyx Hook is for wusses. Nah, I didn't mean that. Defeat this Alric. 
Yes, we know we can use gauge under alpha. Just die, please. Why am I not cutting out these videos? Ah, uh, here's another present I'm not gonna get. I'm gonna ignore all these presents until the very end of the game. Oh look, the entire family! We know what way you're gonna do right now, don't you? Dimensional Warp. Yep, it's a combo attack, which becomes very annoying. No! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, God, no! No, run! Just run! I'm gonna cut out the rest of this battle until I finally run, alright? See ya. Or I get a game over instead. Uh, continue. Uh... Crap, I'll meet you right back there then. Okay, I believe I was right here last time when I cut it, when I got them that game over. Stupid me. Now take a look. There's a guy blocking the exit. Let's go talk to him then. I'm a forgotten man. I might as well not exist. You didn't have to notice me, you know. Let's go ahead and ignore me. No! I'm a nowhere man. It's best of you don't give me words of kindness. I can't live on like this if I start to miss people. My conversations are always a monologue. I've always been alone from the moment I was born. How can that be possible if your mother gave birth to you? It doesn't work like that. Good luck, bad luck, it doesn't make a difference to me. Sometimes just breathing is almost too much for me to handle. Oh god, what is wrong with you? Why do you insist on talking to me? Are you a forgotten man too? No. Yeah, that's right, what I figured, yep. Now, just hurry and ignore me already. Fine, sure. Good, thanks. If you go ahead and say you're not the forgotten man and say yes, you're going to ignore him, you can finally leave. But, looks like we can't go back to Mesh again. You can go ahead and... See, you can't um, use the shell to go back to Mesh again, so you're basically stuck here. For quite a while, unless you have an onyx hook. But again, I'm not gonna go for an onyx hook run. Anyways, welcome to the outside world. Thank God, I'm finally outside world. You know what this means? You know what this means? It means that we're gonna run into tough enemies like the freaking bear. Oh jeez. You know what this meat calls for? Defense up. Still takes damn damage, sheesh. The bears are going to be tough until you reach level 20. Which is why I use defense up. They also apparently have very high HP. Luckily I got a smash right there, so there you go. Although there's some other enemies here, such as the eagle and the wolf. For the eagle, the wolf, the cobra, and all that. I assume that you can take on the cobra, but for wolves like this, it's best if you just use dimensional warp. There we freaking go. Hold on. Uh... Okay. Let's continue northward since we still have a little bit of time left. I usually make my videos 20 minutes long, although when it came to Pokemon it was like 30 minutes long. Uh... Even if I speed it up, which sometimes my recording sessions end up going to about an hour. The Little Saucer, yeah, as you can see, aliens are indeed attacking the Earth, and it seems to be increasing. Luckily, I took out the Flying Saucer pretty quickly. Actually, I better just run, speed up the game a little bit. 
Those liberal saucers are not that bad, although they do like use PSI shields and dodge. How? I took your bro brother out in one hit. How come I can't take you out? Wait a minute, they're just vehicles, so can that even be possible? Oh, well, there gotta be an alien controlling it at least. Oh, it's not called the Koger, it's called the Koger and the Earthbound Zero version, but it's called the Lynx. Actually, is there a difference between a Koger and a Lynx? I don't think so. There we go. Because I gotta use PSI now. Life up. There we go. Now, yeah, if you want to go to the next town, just go south, hook around, and there you go. Now, if you paid attention, you saw there was a corner of a building there. That does not come into importance until a little bit later. But, for the time being right now, welcome to Marysville. I guess I'm gonna show off this town in the next part, so next time we're gonna explore a little bit of Marysville. Or, as it actually called, it's called Thanksgiving. Yep, they're all called holidays in the Japanese version, but anyways, I'll see you guys next time. When we take on Marysville and see what's going on. See you guys then.